all collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Blocks Galaxy version episode 1 Transformer model kits. Uh, so as far as I know, the, a case of these is supposed to have 9 inside and there are 9 characters. You can see Ratchet, Ironhide, Prowl, Jazz, Blue Streak, Optimus, Megatron, uh, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. So it's a sealed case, but I believe there's no doubles. They're kind of blind boxes, but I believe there's supposed to be one of each inside a case. Knock on wood, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but they're just these little model kits. They're kind of similar to Action Masters or something like that. Obviously, they don't transform. And I believe uh, it's very minor assembly. We'll see how it goes. And there should be no stickers. I think if there are any stickers, they come pre-applied. I can't tell from the pictures I've seen online if there's stickers or if it's painted. We'll check that out. Um, but I'm hoping that there's no stickers I actually have to apply myself. Just a little bit of assembly. We'll see how it goes. So you can see really cool artwork of the figures here on the front. Not really so much going on on the top there or on the bottom. Now see it down here it says like these are the probabilities for the blind boxes. But they all seem about the same. It says 4 out of 36 which is 1 out of 9. So you know... But Optimus is a little bit more common, and then apparently there's a rare version of Optimus, so I guess that's just saying... Actually, I guess Optimus is a little rarer. So I think it's basically you're guaranteed one of each, but you just don't know which version of Optimus you're going to get. I think that's basically what this is boiling down to. Not really anything going on on the bottom or the sides or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead, get this open, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so I just pulled one out of the box at random, and it happened to be Skywarp. So I just put him together kind of as a you know sample run through. Honestly, I would say it probably took me five to ten minutes. It really wasn't too involved. Um, I'll go into a full review in a little bit, but I just kind of wanted to show you what comes in the box. So when you're all done, this is the figure. It comes with this little display stand, which is kind of nice. Um, we'll put that off to the side for the moment. You also get this set of instructions in full color, which is nice. Now, it uses Optimus to show you the majority of the steps. It's very comparable. Uh, you know, the pieces might look different, but, you know, the, like, um, bicep pieces and the shin pieces and the thigh pieces and the feet are all relatively similar. Um, and then it does have a couple, uh, steps here on the back for things that might be different. Uh, like for the Seekers to peg the wings on and then put this piece on the back, attach the null rays, attaching, you know, door wings and things like that, that are kind of, you know, different variations from model to model. Um, so that's kind of neat. Those, I'm assuming these instructions will be the same for every single box, but we'll see in a moment. Uh, you also get this little, like, pog-looking thing of Skywarp here, which is kind of neat. It has a QR code there on the back. I have no idea what that does. Maybe it just takes you to their website or something. That would be my guess. Uh, you also, you can see here that he has a closed fist and an open hand. So you do get a full set for each. So you get two open hands and two closed fists. I just decided to give him one of each. I kind of wish the display base had somewhere to store these extra pieces, like in the back. I was kind of hoping it did because it has these little holes here. Uh, you also get these cool little faction symbol pieces. So it's an Autobot on one side and a Decepticon on the other side. Now they can hold these, which is kind of weird, but he can. Uh, again, I was kind of hoping there was somewhere I could peg this onto the base. These little things. I think these on the side are so you can actually connect the bases together, like side by side. But yeah, you, you have these holes. And let me just go ahead, I'll remove them from the base. You can see that you have these almost like Lego type connectors that connect into these spots on the feet. And they actually stay pretty good. Like he's nice and solid on there. Um, but I was kind of hoping some of these holes would be used. I was kind of hoping to put like one of these in each side, but it's very loose in there. I was kind of hoping the extra hands or something would fit in any of these. They don't. So that's a bit of a miss. Not a big deal. Certainly not a deal breaker by any means, but I kind of wish that base was a little better in terms of storage for the extra pieces. I think what I'm going to do is just throw these extra pieces back in the box for now. You actually get two of the little faction symbols, and then I had one extra connector piece just left over. So I'm just going to put all this back in the box for now. Um, 
and deal with that later. But yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and just build one for you guys quick, uh, just to show you the process. It's really not too difficult, so I'm going to build this one real quick. Also, just to take a quick look at the individual boxes, I mean, they have this nice hollow foil on them. I honestly kind of don't want to throw them out. And it shows you the breakdown over here. So you can see all the different characters that are available. Uh, this says it's one-to-one, -one, which I'm assuming is true. If we bring Skywarp back, yeah, that's, that's pretty much true. So that's a decent size. And I'll do some size comparisons later on as well. Um, and then you got Megatron looking sinister over here. I love that. Now, I don't think... Is, is Megatron on the side of every package? Yeah, he is. I was wondering if that was tipping you off as to what's inside, but it's not. So, Optimus is always over here. And then you have Megatron over here. Honestly, just displaying it like that is kind of cool. Or even if you want to... Let me bring the other one back in. Just to kind of put these two next to each other like that. You can kind of see the half of the Autobot symbol and the half of the Decepticon symbol. So, yeah, really cool box. I really like it a lot. So, anyway... Just go ahead and rip open the beautiful box. I wish that was just kind of taped, but unfortunately it's it's kind of like glued. The top of the box is glued on here, which is kind of a shame. Because I have to rip it and there's not really anything I can do. Hopefully I could have done a nicer job, but what are you going to do? Also, it's teasing uh, Chapter 2 here a little bit on the inside. You have a Starscream and a Grimlock, which are in Chapter 2 or Episode 2. So you're going to get a bag, you're going to get one of these little gelled thingies, throw that away. Uh, then you're going to get a second bag, and then you're going to get the instructions. So let me throw this trash away. So here is the first bag, which you can see has a fun little notch. So you can tear that open very easily and pull out everything. So this looks like, what do we have here, some blue hands. This might be Optimus. So we have the display stand. You can see the hands here come on a sprue. They're very easy to pop off. You just kind of twist them a little bit and they will pop right off. If you want to use clippers or something like that, you certainly could, but you really don't have to. That kind of stuff just pops right off. And then you get two of these little sprues. These are basically just for the connections. So this is a shoulder joint. And then you need one of each of these to make an elbow or a knee. It is the same joint for the elbows and the knees. So you can see how one kind of has like a, I guess it's not a mushroom peg. What would you call that? Anyway, you know, you pop, you pop this into that one that makes either a knee or an elbow. And then you get two of those little faction symbol pieces. So those are the only sprues. Those are all together in this first bag. And then we have the directions, which again look exactly the same as the ones that I just showed you from Skywarp. And you could probably figure it out without the directions. Now in the second bag, which for whatever reason does not have a notch to open it easily, I don't know why, so we're going to have to tear this open. And this will really give you the clear picture of what character you have. I don't think anyone else in this assortment has blue hands though, so I'm assuming it must be Optimus. All right, if this continues to give me the business, I'm gonna have to cut it open. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, this looks like Optimus. All right, so here we go. So all these pieces are just loose in this bag, so you absolutely wanna make sure that you do not accidentally throw any pieces away. I like to kind of tear this open and check the corners. See, I just had a connector piece fall out. These little guys love to hug the corners. Now, I did get an extra one, so if one was missing, uh, I had an extra one in Skywarp. I would imagine most of these probably have extra ones, but if you're missing something, you know, a little connector piece, you could try to steal one from the other boxes. Throw that away. So we have our little Optimus Pog. Let's go ahead and toss that in the box here. All right, so you can see here, we have all of the pieces. You're going to need uh, two of these for the ankle joints, and then one for the neck joint. And then everything else, yeah, see, so there is an extra one. You shouldn't need that. So I'll just show you real quick. We'll make a leg first. So you're going to take these little pieces and pop one of these out. 
And like I said, they, pro they pop out of the sprues very simply. You don't even really have to do much. But you're going to take this little piece, this little piece, pop this on here. Like so. And then that will give you either an elbow or knee joint. This is going to be one of his um, thigh areas. So <laughs> we will take this and peg this on like that. Pops right in there. Then we're going to take one of these pieces. Now, I believe these should be... Oh, no, this is good. See, these have to go on the outside. I'm almost 100% sure, but you can check the directions. Yeah, that little gray nub should go on the outside. So these pieces should be universal. Although this is a little scratched up. Can I clean that off? Eh, not as well as I'd like. So that's a little scratch, but honestly... Not a big deal. These should be exactly the same. So you're going to take one of these, you're going to take one of these, and you can kind of see how there's like a grip here that's going to go around this. And it's also very obvious because this all lines up. And that just sandwiches together. Then you're going to take one of these uh, ankle joints and just peg it into here. Now to get it to go all the way in, sometimes I just like to push it down. You'll hear it kind of click into place. The feet should be the same. I don't think there's any difference with the feet. So just grab a foot and now pop it on this ball joint that you've put in there. And then you're going to take your leg. I actually have this wrong, so I'm just going to flip this around. And then this will peg in here like that. And there you go. We have one leg done. Pretty simple. We will repeat the process quickly with the other leg. So build another knee joint by pushing these together. There we go. Going to take this and this and sandwich that together. Pop in our ankle joint. And push that in. There we go. Attach our foot. Uh, I'm going to pop this on the thigh first just because I think this will be easier. And then peg that in. And there you go. Now the other leg is done. And I did it again. I turned this the wrong way. Luckily you can just swivel it. It's not a big deal. So we have our two legs done. Very simple. We're going to take, let's see, this will be the crotch piece, and you're going to have these two pieces. And I do not believe it matters which way you peg these in. But obviously, this part here is going to be the front. Now, I really can't tell. Either this is a pre-applied sticker, or it's painted. Now, the way it has some kind of shimmer to it, kind of makes me think it's a sticker but it could be like a glossy paint i honestly can't tell either way it looks good and i didn't have to apply it so i'm happy pop this on and this on whoops and now we have our lower body of prime put him over here you get this piece, which just this by itself looks kind of hilarious to me. I can't think exactly what this looks like to me, but it almost kind of looks like a weird like Minecraft or Roblox figure or something like that. But this will not really be seen. But you can kind of see under here how this almost looks like it could be paint, but maybe it's a sticker. I honestly don't know, but it's got the uh, GV for Galaxy version 01. And then I'm assuming he's one in the... So this is like the saying Galaxy version, episode one, and he's the first one. That's my guess. I didn't pay attention to what number uh, Skywarp had. I'll have to pay attention going forward. But then you're going to take this piece here. So actually, we have to add... Let's add the uh, shoulder pads first. So these little pieces here are these little shoulder joints. So I'm just going to take the Autobot symbol off of this so I can throw this sprue away. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we can throw that away, put this off to the side. Then we'll come over here and grab our other shoulder joint. Then you're going to just pop these on like this. 
So you can see how that goes. This pops over top of this, and then this will pop onto the back. They don't really peg into the torso itself, but they peg into each other and kind of sandwich around the torso. So you can see that you want... Now, you might be able to peg this on after the fact, but I feel like it would be much easier to do it before. So I would definitely attach these shoulder pieces beforehand. And then we can go ahead and pop this on. And that gives them a really nice waist swivel there. So you can see Prime is coming along nicely. And again, I feel like this has obviously got to be painted the, the silver or the gray. This might be a sticker, but either way, it looks good. <laughs> like, I'm really happy with how these look. I like the little circuitry there in the window. That's kind of fun. All right, so now we have our forearms and we have our kind of bicep pieces. So we need to build another joint piece. So pop this off, pop this off, push this together. This is going to connect in here like this. And then you take your forearm piece. I don't think the forearm pieces are different. Uh, I guess they are slightly mirrored. Let me see if I can tell from the directions. It looks like... Okay, so... This should be his right arm. So we're going to use the other one. Pop this in here. There we go. And then you're going to take the shoulder piece, and it has kind of a track that these little pieces will slide right into the track and then click into place, just like that. And then we'll give him... We'll give him the pointing hand, why not? Pop that on there. And then this just pops right on, like that. So let's build our other elbow real quick. And then pop this off. We can throw that away. Build our other elbow. Pop this in here. Come on. There we go. Pop that on there. Pop this on here. Slide this over top. Click that into place. And then we'll give him a fist so that he can hold his gun like that. Pop that on so you can see almost done here. Now, where does... Oh, this pegs onto his back. So pop this on like so. There we go. Completing the look of his back design. Now, the head's kind of funny because you have this tiny little piece and then you have this helmet. What I find is easiest to do, take the connector point and this is going to pop into the neck here like so. Then take this and connect this on top. Make sure that's all the way in. And then the helmet is going to be uh, like slide on the track just like we did for the shoulders. So just kind of line that up and bring that down. And there we go. And we have, I believe that is everything. So I think that took about 15 minutes. Um... But that's kind of with me stopping to point everything out. So if you're just kind of, once you get the hang of one of these and you're just running through, it could probably be done in 10 minutes or less. But yeah, he looks great. I mean, again, all of this is either paint or pre-applied stickers and it feels good. Nothing feels like it's chipping or peeling. We got the pointing hand. We got the gun. And I'll go through articulation and everything in a minute, but... Yeah, pop him on the base here. Now, of course, he does come with this piece. So if I wanted to pop off one of the hands, I could pop on the axe instead. Just pops into the same ball joint. 
So he does have the axe, because of course you can't have a version of Optimus Prime without the Energon axe. 30 seconds of screen time. Will never go away. And now you do have a uh, sprue over here with some other hands. So you get an open set of hands and a closed fist set of hands, just like with Skywarp. So we'll pop these all out. So really, if you think about it, he kind of comes with three sets of hands because he has the closed fist set of hands and the open hand uh, set of hands like everybody does. But then he also has the pointing finger and the Energon Axe, so that's kind of like a third set of hands. So, yeah, pretty great. Optimus looks fantastic. I'm almost kind of relieved I didn't get the special version because I just wanted a classic Optimus because he looks so good. So now we have Optimus and Skywarp. So I'm going to build the other seven, and then I'll be right back with you. So here are all nine fully put together. Honestly, once you do two or three of them, it goes a lot faster because the assembly is almost identical. The only thing you're really kind of messing with are, you know, specific accessories or like the wing pieces here for the Seekers, the wings for the, you know, a couple of Autobots that have door wings. But it's it gets really quick and simple. And they're kind of just fun to put together. You could throw something on TV and probably do the whole box in an hour or something like that. It's really not too bad. But yeah, these guys really came out great. I'm really <laughs> excited about them. So we'll take a look at Optimus. Um, now, like I said, almost everyone comes with just the two set of hands, with the closed fist set of hands, and the open set of hands. Uh, Optimus and Megatron each come with a pointing finger. I think that's really it. Uh, some guys have blast effect pieces, and we'll show that off in a minute. But for the most part, you know, everything's pretty similar in terms of accessories. They all have those little badges. Now, some of them have, I would say the majority of them have the gray pieces for the joints. Some of them have white, like Jazz and Ratchet have white. Um, Blue Streak has red. And then Megatron has like a deep maroon, which I thought was kind of weird. I don't know why he wouldn't just have the dark gray. Doesn't look bad. I just thought that was kind of weird. Um, so the sprues are in different colors, so that means you might get those little badges for the Autobot Decepticon in the various colors, white, red, maroon, and then most of them are in the gray. Um, but yeah, these guys really do look fantastic. So like I said, there are no stickers that you have to apply. I honestly can't tell if these are paint or stickers. They might be stickers, but they're very nicely applied. I think they look fantastic. They also have kind of a fun cartoonish anime quality to them um i really like it i mean the the head sculpt there for optimus looks fantastic so these are on ball joints so you can look side to side you can tilt up tilt down tilt side to side ever so slightly you have ball joints here in the shoulder you can kick out to the side pretty far kick all the way around here uh you do have a swivel here right above the elbow just because that pegs in then you have about a little over 90 degrees there in the elbow uh, technically this could also swivel at this point but it's kind of hard to do because you have the plastic up here on the side I don't think you need it but technically you could do that the hand is on a limited little ball joint there which is kind of fun you have a waist swivel ball joint on the side can kick all the way out uh, kick pretty far forward, pretty far back. Then you have a swivel here right above the knee. And then I would say a little over 90 degrees there in the knee. And then you have a ball joint for the ankle so you can get ankle tilt. A little bit of front to back as well. They're just really fun, tiny little figures. And I really like them quite a bit. Um, I'll do some size comparisons after we take a look at all the individual figures. But I really like this. They usually all have a weapon of some kind. Now, the Seekers don't have, like, handheld weapons, but they have the null rays that connect to the arms. So everybody has a weapon of some kind. So, like, here I have Prime pointing, and then he's got the gun. Now, like I said, some of these guys come with blast effects. So Ratchet, Ironhide, and Megatron have these blast effects. And they can either clip onto the gun. You can see that they're, like, a little hollow there. So they can either clip onto the gun or you can kind of push it onto the barrel of the gun like that. Or for Prime, you could put it all the way inside the barrel 
like that. And the blast effects should work for anyone. I don't think there'll be a problem with anyone using them. It's a shame they don't each have one, but I think they're pretty cool. Uh, let's see, can they pop onto the end of the Seeker's Null Rays here? Yeah, they can. That might be stretching it out ever... <laughs> it might be stretching it out ever so slightly. Um, let me see, can I clip it on to this part? Maybe a little bit deeper in. There we go, okay. So you don't want to pop it... You don't want to pop it on the end. You want to come all the way in like that, and then it'll clip on. So there you go. You could definitely have the Seekers using their Null Rays. So that's cool. I really like the little blast effect pieces. I think they're cool. Like I said, I kind of wish you could get more of them. Because I would like everyone to have one. But I think it's cool. The ones that we do get. I'm going to leave this one with Prime, I think. I think they work the most successfully with... I mean, they clipped on there pretty well. They really fit into uh, Megatron's uh, Fusion Cannon and, of course, Prime's Rifle very well. Let me see if I'm connecting these incorrectly onto these. Yeah, so it should clip onto this kind of minor part right there. But yeah, that looks great. I love that. I think that's really cool. Um, so let's see. Is there anything else we need to talk about with Prime? I think he looks great. We went through all the articulation. I would say every character has the same articulation. Oh, I forgot about the butterfly joint. So there's like a vertical butterfly joint. So you can move that up and down. Now, one thing I will say, some of these, you might have trouble with connecting the arm because sometimes it kind of wants to plug into the top part, but you really need to get it to plug into the bottom part. So I kind of like to push this all the way down and then kind of make sure it connects in and then you can kind of push this back up just to make sure it's connected in the right part. I mean, if it pops off, you can easily pop it back on. None of these are, you know, meant to lock in and stay locked in forever. Anything you can pop off the ball joint. If you assemble something wrong, it should be easy enough to take it apart. The only thing I would say, the ball joint connectors, like if you push them in and snap them in. Um, let me pop this off to show you what I mean here. Uh, this doesn't want to pop up. All right, maybe I don't want to pop these off. <laughs> yeah, when you look underneath, it kind of looks like... See how that kind of hugs it? I still think you could pop it off. I'm not going to because I don't want to break it. But for the most part, like any kind of... Uh, like if you would accidentally, you know, pop this onto the wrong side or something, you could flip it around. It's really not that big a deal popping that back on. But yeah, the joints feel tight. You know, not super loose or anything like that. You could definitely get them in a variety of poses here. Have him pointing forward with the gun. Something like that. I'm not great at posing figures, but you could definitely do something like that. Or you could just go ahead and pop. You could even just pop one foot on if you want. Whatever you like. But yeah, these guys are cool. I really like these quite a bit. So let's move on because we have nine of these to take a look at. So we'll put Optimus back here. Next up we have Ironhide. I think he came out great. Head sculpt looks good. He's got that iconic helmet. He's got a nice... Uh, I'm assuming this is a sticker because I feel like he couldn't really paint it that intricate. So I'm assuming this is some kind of pressed on sticker. But looks nice. He had a little crack in the windshield there. Now the one thing I will say is his forearm should be red. This part should be gray, this should be red, this should be red, and then the hand should be gray. So there's a couple little things like that throughout the set where like, you know, a couple, you know, colors are off. I also don't know why this section here isn't the same color gray as the thigh. Not a huge problem, but I would have liked all of this to have been the same color light gray here. Uh, legs look good. Again, he's got the gum with the blast effect. And then he's got all the same articulation as the others. Got some nice molding there on the back. We'll move on to Ratchet because Ratchet is basically the same mold. He's got another, like, I like the lifeline here on the chest. Like, he's reading their vitals. You actually get the Red Cross. Now, because these come from China, I guess they can use that without incident. But I believe that's like a registered thing. Hasbro can't use that. So if you've ever seen... 
Hasbro has kind of that like uh, asterisk looking rescue sign because I don't think they're allowed to use that anymore. Um, you do have some nice black up here on the crest. The head sculpt looks good. He comes with a blast effect as well for his gun. A lot of white in the lower half, but I think that's fine. That's what Ratchet looks like. I do appreciate that there's a pop of color here. And then, of course, he should have the red hands. So, yeah, he came out great. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at these three because, whoops, as I completely knock Ratchet over and he lost his blast effect, that's fine. These three are obviously all built off the same mold for the most part. Um, we'll start here with Jazz. So he does have this little connector thing for these pieces on the side. You kind of push the white part down and then pop the wheel on. I'll be honest, I don't know that he needed that. I probably would have been fine with it just like this. But otherwise, he looks really good. All the colors. The visor looks fantastic. This bit down here on his chest. The uh, side door wings here look great. And then he's got a gun here. Now, if you take a look at say blue streak you can see he's got a stalk with a ball joint there for the gun so they use the same back piece for jazz so they just put these wheels on here because he doesn't have guns although technically prowl's not supposed to have the guns either but they gave prowl the guns and jazz his like original toy had the guns or at least one cannon on the shoulder because if you're going animation accurate he shouldn't have the door wings now technically you could remove these so if you like Jazz without the door wings, you could 100% just unpeg these. They just peg onto the back. So if you want kind of a more, you know, uh, cartoon accurate Jazz, you could definitely pop those wings off the back. But then he's still got the wheels up here, which I don't love. But there's not really anything you can do about it because, again, they used the same piece from Prowl and Blue Streak. I mean, you could pop the wings off, but then he's just going to have the stalk with the ball joint, which just looks awkward. So, again, not a big deal. Not perfect. Not terrible. But I do kind of wish Jazz was a little bit more anime accurate. And all they really would have had to do was give him a unique back piece that didn't have the wings or the wheels. Just the smooth back piece. Um, that's really all they would have had to do. Otherwise, he's pretty great. I mean, and again, I don't mind the wings. I don't hate the wheels. I can, let's put it this way. If I had to choose, I would choose the wings over the wheels. I wish they had just, I mean, I guess technically I could cut the stalks off. But I don't really want to mod it. But you could, I guess, if you wanted to play with that a little bit. But he looks good. Uh, so now let's move on to Prowl. Now, as I mentioned, he shouldn't have the cannons. Because Prowl doesn't have the shoulder cannons in the cartoon. Um... But, I guess just because, again, they're using the same mold. Now, he does have the wings, which look good. And you can move these around if you like these a little bit more at a 45-degree angle or more straight out. You have a little bit of posability there because, again, it's just a peg in a peg hole, so you can rotate that around. But, yeah, all of his detailing looks fantastic. Now, I don't know what it is with mine, and maybe I attached this wrong or something, but whenever I try to move his head back on the ball joint, it just tilts the helmet. So I don't know if I didn't put that on right or something. Let me see if I pop this on. Because it has like a little channel in there. So I have to kind of line it up. Hopefully that's a little better. Now see, see how it still kind of rocks the helmet and not the head? I mean, you can't really move the head around too much as it is. Just because those guns are right there. But... You just have him looking forward, position the helmet how you like it, and then let him go. But yeah, he looks good. I really like Prowl. I think he came out great. Now, unfortunately for Blue Streak, I don't like the dark gray helmet. I guess they just wanted to pop a color because his, his face is gray. But this should be, like, that's almost black. I don't know. I feel like on the show, I mean, he did probably have a helmet on the show. That was darker than the rest. Of, I don't know. It just looks off. Something about this just looks off. I don't think that's the right color for the head. Uh, the guns look good. The doors, everything else I think looks perfectly good. I don't know. Just something about that helmet is just a little too dark. Or maybe these should be white or something. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. But his helmet is just a little off. But everything else about him looks great. I think he came out great. 
So that should be all of the Autobots. So let's move on to the Decepticons. Now, obviously, they're a little outnumbered. It's six to three. I think they are getting some reinforcements in uh, episode two or the second wave of these things. But here is Megatron. Megatron came out fantastic. I love the smirk. The helmet looks great. All the detailing here on the chest. He's got the little kind of like piece of the gun here on the shoulder. Now, again, he does have the deep maroon for the elbows. I don't hate it. I just think it's awkward. I, well, no, I don't want to say awkward. Awkward's too strong. I just think it's out of place. It's just weird. I would have been fine with that just being the dark gray like everybody else has. But you got the little part of the barrel up here. I think that looks fantastic. Um, he comes with the blast effect. That really works great. He's got the fusion cannon here. He comes with the extra pointing hand. He does not have the translucent purple energon mace to combat prime's axe which i'm assuming is just because he has the fusion can although prime has the gun i don't know i guess they just went all out on prime i feel like i don't need the axe but if you're gonna do the axe you have to give megatron the mace i just feel like you should um but that's not even really a complaint because i would be fine with none of the energon weapons but I feel like if you're going to do one, you should do both. Does that make sense? Uh, but in any case, Megatron really came out great. He really looks good. Very imposing. Just the details, fantastic. Just all in all, he looks really good. I'm really happy with how he turned out. And then, of course, we have our two Seekers. So, of course, these guys are sharing a mold. And they are pretty much identical. Now, the only thing I will say... Skywarp should have this light gray the same as Thundercracker. I don't know why they did all of this in the black. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the purple. I think that looks great. You know, all the detailing here on the shins looks great. The feet are good. Thundercracker, I think, is perfect. I think his colors are wonderful. Uh, the printing on the wings is on both sides, so front and back, which I love. I was really expecting it only to be one side. Uh, on this side, it's a little hidden by the arms, but it is there. So having it on the back as well is really nice. I have no complaints here for Thundercracker. I think he came out perfect. And I like Skywarp. I just feel like this and just this section here should be the same light gray as Thundercracker. And then the rest of him should be black and purple exactly as it is. I don't know why they did... He's just a little bit too much black. I don't know why. The purple's great, though. The pop of purple, I think, looks great. So both of these guys came out pretty good. Uh, the null rays just attached to these tiny little ball joints here on the sides of the shoulder pads, so you can move them all around. But yeah, all in all, I really like these figures a lot. I really think they came out great. I can't wait. Uh, for more of them. I do have the second wave as well already. And the third one I ordered. And I think it's on the way. But I'm not sure if it came in or not yet. So we'll see. Um, but there are three waves of these so far. But next up I want to do some size comparisons. I took Prime off of the base. Just so you get an accurate you know, idea of how tall he is. First thing I want to bring in is this is a three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe from Hasbro, one of the reissue ones. So that kind of gives you the idea that Prime is about four inches tall, maybe not quite four inches tall. Here is an original G1 Action Master, which I would say is probably again in that three and three quarter inch because he's about the same height as the G.I. Joe over here. So again, they're they're very similar to Action Masters, but they're a little bit bigger and definitely highly art articulated in comparison. But I feel like if you wanted, you could kind of display these together. Uh, here is a Magic Square Legends class figure. So you can see that he's probably a little shorter. If I move him over here... Now, he is kind of crouching, but you could say they're about the same size, just to give you an idea. And then what else can I do? Here is a 5-inch Ghostbuster figure. You can see that that is definitely at least an inch taller than Optimus is. 
So I would say these are probably somewhere in between three and three quarter inch and four. So they're kind of right in that area. Um, what else can I show you? Here is a six inch Marvel Legends figure. Let me zoom out here so you can see definitely quite a bit taller there. I wanted to show like a four inch like Spin Master or Epic Hero series or something like that, but I can't seem to find one. So I guess I'll just throw in a, um, here is a Super 7 reaction figure, which is also kind of in that three and three quarter inch size. So these are all kind of three and three quarter inch. This, I guess, is kind of four inches. This is five inches. This is six inches. So I would say he's definitely, if he's not exactly four, he's just under it. I really like these a lot. I think they came out great. Yes, you have to assemble them, but it's really not that difficult, especially after you do one or two of them, you get the general idea. I would say 90% of the assembly is the same from figure to figure with a couple different flourishes for, you know, the individual aspects of the character, but they really are fantastic. They're in that kind of three and three quarter inch, four inch scale. You could probably use them with Action Masters from back in the 80s if you wanted to. Um... If you just collect four inch, you know, figures and you just wanted some non-transforming transformers, these definitely fit the bill. I am very excited to get more of these. I think the price turned out to be, I think it was like $50 for the box of nine of them. I got them from a website called Joy Toy World. So J-O-Y-T-O-Y-W-O-R-L-D, Joy Toy World. Um... It was great, honestly. I ordered them. I think they shipped them within a week. Shipping was free, which is nice. And like I said, I think it was around $50 for a box of nine, uh, maybe $55, something like that. So, I mean, it really kind of came out to 5 to $6 a piece, which I really can't complain. <laughs> I mean, honestly, um, you know, these are really fun, highly articulated figures. No stickers that you have to put on yourself. Um, I think that the details probably are stickers, not paint, but it looks good. I didn't have to apply them myself. And like I said, it takes about 10 minutes to assemble each figure, um, which really isn't too bad. And you're, you're left with a really nicely detailed, articulated, just fun little figure. I like the uh, display bases. I didn't really show this off, but you can connect these together. So they have these weird little tabs on the side. And you know what? Let me just take this guy off the base for simplicity's sake. So you, I think you're supposed to like put one on top and drop it down. Um, it doesn't work the best, if I'm being honest. Maybe I, am I supposed to do it from the bottom? No, I don't think so. But you can see kind of, if I'm actually showing you, uh, how the teeth kind of like interlock. I mean, I don't really think you need to connect these together, but if for some reason you wanted to, that functionality is there. I do kind of wish that this had some storage for the extra fists or those little insignias, because I would love to just have this and put like the little insignia, whether Autobot or Decepticon, kind of peg that into the corner and then attach the figure to the base. I think that would be really cool. Um, I guess technically, you know, the feet kind of go over most of the holes, but they could have done something on the side or have it peg onto the front here or something. The bases are nice and they do connect to them very well. Like it's not going to fall off at all. I just wish, like I would definitely sacrifice the connecting together aspect for some storage for the extra pieces. That's like my only complaint and it's such a minor complaint. I'm just going to put all the extra pieces in a little baggie or something. Um, you know, I mean, you have really the only piece, like the insignia, I don't care about. The Really, the only thing you need to keep track of is the different sets of fists. Uh, so just kind of keep them in a baggie, and then you can switch them out if you need to. I mean, honestly, you know, some of these guys have the same one. So if Jazz ends up using Ironhide's fist at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. Because they're the same color, the same mold, everything's the same in that regard. So, yeah, these guys are just fun. They're just fun. They're reasonably uh, priced. It wasn't super difficult to get them. I think it took maybe two weeks uh, to, to ship them here. 
And like I said, free shipping. You can't beat that. And yeah, I can't recommend them enough. Honestly, for the price, for what they are, they're a good quality. I was really kind of afraid the, the plastic would feel cheap or the joints would be loose. I don't really feel any of that here. I mean, honestly, the plastic feels nice and solid. The joints are good. Nothing's loose or noodly. Uh, again, the stickers look great. They came pre-applied. All that's fantastic. So, you know, just 10 minutes of assembly per figure and you have a really nice, highly detailed, articulated little 4-inch transformer. That doesn't transform, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I can't recommend them enough. I'll just end up sitting here talking about them all night. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.